Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Right now, I feel great. You know what I'm saying? I feel absolutely great. Um, you know, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was just over here. <laughs> I was just over here dancing right now to some powerful mu- music. I was bumping that Marvin Gaye. Um, old school, seek and you shall find. He said, see and you shall find. Come on, man. I like that song. I like that song. So if you catch me over here dancing, I'm just, I'm on right now. As far as it's Monday morning. And, um, you know, it's time for another week. You know what I'm saying? It's time to go out and conquer another week. Seek and you shall find. That is, that is what we're going to call this. Seek and you shall find. By the end of the week, what you're seeking right now, find it. What you're seeking, go out and find it. It's going to come to you. It's going to come to you. Seek and you shall find. Come on, man. I like that right there. Anyway, it's a good morning. You know, we starting off this this week strong, healthy, um, positive feelings, positive thoughts. You know, we starting off this week nice, thinking thinking positive. Um, you know, um, like I said, I'm feeling great. How are y'all feeling out there? You know, I'm gonna keep this one brief. I'm going to keep this one brief, um, but I had a great weekend. I hope y'all had a great weekend. Um, I had a, a very good weekend, you know, um, as we're supposed to have all the time, you know. Now we're back here at another, at another, you know, fantastic Monday, you know what I'm saying? Um, I used to hate Mondays. Now I love Mondays because it's the beginning of the week. We're about to conquer every fear. Every anxiety, we about to conquer that by Friday. You know what I'm saying? See, and you shall find. That's what it's about. You know, it's about seeking and finding. You know, um, a lot of things happen over the weekend. You know, if you haven't heard, <clears throat> we have a new president, forty-fifth president. Uh, Joe Biden and Camilla Harris. Um, you know, he's the 46th president, so the news and all the media outlets are saying. So, um, if that you know, con- true, congratulations. Um, you know, I didn't really have a dog in that race, so it really didn't matter. Um, who I really thought was going to win. I, 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 you know, um, or who I wanted or who I was voting for because it wasn't my, um, it wasn't my, you know what I'm saying, type of or something that I, you know, was really feeling about those two candidates, something that I was strongly feeling, right? It didn't matter, you know what I'm saying? So, Saturday, you know, they had a big celebration on Friday. I forget when it came out that he actually won. But, you know, you had people partying and, you know, you had, like, you know, you had a lot of people, you know, hyped up about this man being the 46th president. Didn't matter. That's not why I'm happy is because we have a new president. I'm happy because I'm happy. I feel good. You know what I'm saying? I conquered my uh, week last week, and I'm ready to conquer that shit again this week. Period. It's about accepting challenges and conquering them things. Accept the challenge and conquer. You know, like I said, congratulations. You know, but this is this 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 podcast is not going in that route as far as celebrating somebody who we're celebrating you, each other, not anybody else's victory. Celebrate your own victory. Seek and you shall find. 
celebrate your own victory. What is it that you're willing to do this week? What are you willing to sacrifice this week? Um, just within the last week, I've actually conquered by, you know, doing my videos. I'm already at, what, this is my third video. I mean, you know, you have people that go on, but I haven't been, I, I haven't did this. So I feel good by sharing this with my people and sharing this with, with whoever watching. I feel good by that. You know what I'm saying? I really do. I feel good. I feel like, um, um, just, you know, giving. When you give, when you give and you truly mean it and you're giving, not because you want something in return. Nah, when you giving because you're giving, you, you have this, um, that's, that's what you want to do. You want to give. You know what I'm saying? You want to give. That's what this is about. It's about giving. What are you willing to give? We have to sit up here and give each other something. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's nothing but a smile, that goes a long way. Just smiling. You know, waking up in the morning. Hey, good morning. Just smiling. Doesn't that make you feel good? Just smiling. You know what I'm saying? Just just waking up and just just. That's because you're able to smile because you've done something. You've done something positive. We have to be able to give to each other. And not, like I said, and not give and wanting something in return because that doesn't matter. Getting something in return doesn't matter. What matters is you giving. That is what's true. When you're giving, you're giving. Giving. Give. Like I said, not because you want something back. Give. Sometimes you can't give your last. Give. It, it ain't even got to be money. Like I said, we ain't got to. No. Give a smile. Give encouragement. See somebody on the street that needs to give them encouragement. Hey, you know what? I know that, you know, sometimes that's foreign, doing those type of things, because we're supposed to be, we're supposed to be, um, you know, you know, we got that. We're supposed to be hard. You know what I'm saying? Nah, oh, man. All that hard, that 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 hard way, that has to sit up here and die. Being hard has to sit up here and die. That mentality of of you no, know, that shit has to give, give, give. We have to be able to give. Give to our kids. Give love, unconditional love to everybody. You know, real quick, uh, something came into my mind. You know, you know, to love is to really, is to give of yourself. To trust is to give of yourself. Right now, we have to be better givers than takers. Anybody can receive, but we have to be better givers than takers. And then we have to be open to encouragement. Sometimes people take encouragement as, as it being bad. You know what I'm saying? Um, encouragement is to encourage in cur rich up in here once you feel it inside here it will show it will show once you feel it inside of here what's that um let your soul glow come on man we gotta let our soul grow period you know what i'm saying we gotta let it glow we have to be able to give to each other um you know, like I said, I feel good. It's a, it's a nice, cold, sunny day out here in Oakland, Monday morning. It's um, really good. You know what I'm saying? The energy is good. You know, um, you know it feels good. So, like I said, I'm going to challenge y'all this week. I'm going to challenge y'all by Friday. 
set goals for yourself. Sunday. Let's take it. Let's go to Sunday. Set some goals for yourself by Sunday. Or even if you got something going on during the week, set some goals for yourself. Write that, write it down. Accomplish it. You can do it. This is all about inspiring each other. You can do it. Go out and be the better you. You know what I'm saying? Go out and be the better you. You can sit up here and be for your kids, for yourself, for the world, for your community. Go out. You know what I'm saying? Go out. Go out. Beautiful day. Beautiful week. Then it's going to be a beautiful week. Hey, you know what? It's supposed to be challenging. Hey, maybe something's going to come up. Something's going to come up. Keep it pushing. Keep pushing. You got to keep it pushing. You got to be able to keep it pushing no matter what. It's going to snow in some parts of the country. Hey, put on your boots. Put on your, um, yo, yo, yo beanie. Come on. You know what I'm saying? It's don't get cold. That's just the way it's supposed to be. It's going to get cold. Embrace your moment. Embrace this time. Embrace the people around you. Period. Do that. Like I said, seek and you shall find. That's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? I'm on that hype right now. That's the hype that I'm pushing right now. Seek and you shall find. What you searching for? Let's not keep it. Let's 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 further. I know some people might say, I'm looking for a, a, a woman. You know, I'm looking for a man. I'm looking for a relationship. What about this? What about that inner peace? You know what I'm saying? What about something that you wanted to know? You never, as a child, you wanted to know. Whatever it is, go out and find it. Go out and find it. Is it real? Was it a fantasy? Is it true? Is it hidden? What is it? You got to be able to, you know, we used to do what what we used to play as kids, y'all. Hide and seek. What was the object of that game? Go find the person that's hiding. That's what we got to go do. We got to go find that hidden truth. Because the truth is out there. Whatever you want to go you can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Hope as I believe in you, you believe in me as well. Reach out. There's some things I want to run by y'all. Um, you know, um, so, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get to that. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get to that. Um, right now, I've been, one of the things I was doing over the weekend is um, I was coming up with, you know, I was inspired by the Black Panthers, okay, point. I was inspired by the Black Panthers. Not only was I inspired, you know, um, my grandma, rest in peace, and my mom, former Black Panthers. And so... Just that movement was so powerful. Please, to any living Black Panther, you know, um, and rest in peace to all the following, especially you already know Huey P. Newton, rest in peace. Um, that movement to me back in, in the six, that was a very powerful movement, especially out here in Oakland. Um, when I was younger, and I was like eight, nine, you seen more, you know, and that was in the um, early 80s, well, late 80s, um, 90s, you know, um, you ha- you seen a lot of the Black Panther culture was still relevant in Oakland. Now you might drop down a couple of blocks and you might see the, um, you know, the painting or something like that. But it's not like it was, you know what I'm saying, um, back in the 90s. And of course, it wasn't like it was from the 80s, 70s, and and, and on to the 60s. But that movement, to me, was so powerful. 
because not that movement is still being felt today. How so? Um, that movement is um, the free lunch program. If your state city is the kids are receiving free lunch, that's because of the Black Panthers. Um, they came up with a way that was, and the reason why they did that was because back in those days, you know, you had a lot of families being in the household. And with a lot of families being in the household, a lot of kids would go to school. And so, you know, a lot of kids wouldn't really eat breakfast. And so what is the most common, if you're teaching math, what is the most common thing that you're going to use? You're going to use apples, oranges, bananas. So these kids are going to school and the teachers are teaching them apples, oranges. So imagine you haven't ate breakfast and the teacher is talking about math and they're talking about apples and oranges, bananas, and your stomach is growling. What is that going to do? So the Black Panthers came up with a, with a plan. So kids can, can um, be able to eat in school. One of the three things that they did, the Black Panthers provided food, clothes, and shelter to the community. Groceries was being um, was being um, passed around. They had groceries for you. What else did they have? The 10 um, point program. The Black Panthers was equipping the, excuse me, they were giving knowledge to their community. And th so their community could be able to strive on their own and that they did not need help from the government. That's what they did. That, to me, was beautiful. That was beautiful. And of course, come on, guess what? If you did not know, and I'm pretty, most of you guys did know, but the Black Panthers is the reason why the map was able to still be shot. And um, that movie would still be able um, to be seen. They shut that down. So see, it, it, it the things that, the Black Panthers had to overcome wasn't just the police. It was their own community, as, as you can see, as what brought them down. The main thing that brought the Black Panthers down, they divided the country then in drugs. So when we go around, the drugs is what conquered as well as the internal hold that the government was applying on them. So they were getting it from all areas. But they had the Black Panthers motivated the community to do better. That is the mindset that you know, um, we have to get on and that, you know, this is not about, I'm, I, I'm not trying to push an agenda on you guys. You know, um, there is, I'm not going to lie to you, as far as my movement, this is not about religion. I don't want, and this movement is not about religion because the Black Panthers movement was not about religion. This is not about religion. I'm not pushing forth the message of religion. I'm not doing that. I feel like religion has haunted our um, our community for a long time because it was never the Christianity, Islam, that was not ours. That's not 
that's not, that's a fairy tale. You know what I'm saying? That's not. No. No. So this movement is not based on, I want to sit up here and get religion or no. This is about our people. Our people. Our people. And right now, it's everybody on this damn earth. Yes. Black, we, every, right now, our people, my people, yes, um, I'm black. My people, it's everybody. Everybody has to wake up. Everybody has to wake up. This is bigger than just a religion, a race. Right now, we have to sit up here and and and, and especially if especially if you're black, we gotta wake up. We gotta wake up, people. People, we gotta wake up. We gotta wake up. Do you think the reason why I say that? The reason why I I I I, I wonder what the Black Panthers would really think right now. What would the Black Panthers think if this, if what the Black what would the Black Panthers think right now over both Donald Trump and, and Biden? What would they think? Would they would what would they tell the community? We got to do better because media, movies, music is targeting our kids. Fact. That's what they're doing. They don't care about me no more. They care about our kids because they want our kids to sit up here and to feed into that system that has been going on since the 60s, since that system. This is why I started off the um um last week when I was like vote or die. Come on, bro. The Black Panthers wouldn't have sit up there and wanted that. That that would not their primary mindset. Vote or die. Not for them to. Not for them to. So my effort is to reach out. I know right now we got to do a lot of healing. Our black men have hurt our black sisters as as well as vice versa. We've hurt each other. We, you know what I'm saying? We damaged each other based off of our own not knowing and some did know but just immaturity, not being able to love, being afraid of love. We got to be able to heal each other. We have to be able to communicate with each other. We can't sit up here and no longer be silent leaders to think that we can, no, we can't do that. That time, what they were doing, what was, what was the Black Panthers doing? Police in the neighborhoods. They didn't want any drugs. One of the things now I think about, come on, I, I want y'all to really pay attention to this. One, one of the things I think about is think about this. You go to the store. Your kids go to the store after school. And I know right now, um, you know, it's no school. It's COVID. But even right now, they go to the store. If they go to a liquor store in the community, in their community, right? Where... Nine out of ten. What what do they see on a consistent basis going to the liquor store? What is the most consistent thing that a child would see when you're going up to the liquor store? You're going to see bottles of liquor, bottles of liquor, top shelf all the way down, bottles of liquor. 
So now this kid, now we talk about a hey, um let's um um keep the drugs away from the schools. But you got a liquor store here that the kid has to go up, pay his money for whatever he is getting, and he has to see liquor. And it's right next to the school. These are some of the things, because I feel that that influences kids. That ain't up in, in, in no, can you go to the hills? If you go to the hills, is there any liquor store in the hills? No, there's not. But we see this on a everyday basis. We are conditioned to sit up there and, and when you walk into the store to see candy and then liquor, chips, candy, liquor. Come on, man. We have to do better. They can't poison our communities like that. And they have been. It's disappointing because, like I said, the Black Panthers, that movement was so powerful. This movement that I have is for parents. And it's called, and to be all honest with you, To be, to feel, that's what motivates me, is to starting something that we can be able to, where there's no infiltrators. That's what came to, you know, infiltrator, infiltrators infiltrated the Black Panthers. Like I said, the drugs as well. All these things, as well as you know you're doing good when J. Edgar Hoover, his whole purpose was to dismantle them. If you haven't seen Panther, go out and, and see that movie, Panther, which is a, a very good um, movie. Um, it um, took place in 1994. Um, very good movie. You know, um, so this is where I wasn't on the hype of, and you know, rest in peace to um, to the actor that played Black Panther. Um, but I didn't really like that movie. And what I mean, I didn't like the movie. Everything, the movie was a good movie. I'm not saying it was a bad movie, but what it did is, it pushed the agenda, and this is my opinion, it pushed the agenda of fantasy. You had people saying Wakanda. You had kids saying, what does that mean? Back in those times, the Black Panther, they were black power. And not so much black power, black power, but independence. Yet, we talk about Wakanda forever. When you had a lot of kids, and really what happened in that movie is what happens in the community. We fight each other. There's a thing going on. We fight each other. We continue to fight each other over what? Over a block that's not ours, over property that's not ours. We do this for what? In five years, that block not even going to remember you because there's going to be new people there. That's how. 
So, and to be all honest with you, let's really be honest. Fearmonger had a, 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 a right to be mad. He had a right to be mad. So, Killmonger, he had a right to be mad. So, when you see this, and you've seen how it's, it's, it's being played out, and you see that they just want our kids. They want our kids to make crazy decisions so they can keep getting rich. So my movement is about the future of the kids. It's not about religion. It's bigger than that. Next generation, parents' knowledge, kids' success. This is what I want to push. Parents' knowledge, kids' success. Equip giving parents information to help their children be able to be successful. We want our children to be successful and surpass us. I want my kids to be uh, way better than me. That is my my goal is for my kids to be better than me, my nieces and nephews to be better than me, the next generation to be better than me. I want them to be 10 times better than me. And the only way that they can do that is we have to start off by equipping parents with knowledge and success so the kids can grow up and be successful. This is what this is about. I am even if the name has to change, if somebody comes up, it's not for me to push this. What I mean is somebody may come and take it to a whole nother level. I just want to be a voice and have something in this. So this is to, like I said, is to focus on giving parents information. Um, fathers. Mothers, single mothers, single fathers, um, parents that are married. And we want, I want parents because we have to sit up here and talk. We have to come up with a, with a stream of information that we can be able to bounce up off of each other where kids can be able to learn, where men can teach kids how to, boys how to tie ties, how to fill out applications, how to dress during an interview, how to work out, how to cook. These are the things that I see and I I can envision it happening. But we need every parent available. So anybody got some, I'm, I'm willing to listen. I'm willing to sit up here and listen. I need to listen. We need to sit up here and come together as parents. We need to do that. It's a must that we do that. If we don't do that, we are killing our we're just killing our, we're letting our, 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 our generation, our flowers, our seeds just out in this world where we already know what the world don't care nothing about them. Girls and boys, dance classes. First thing I want to do is, is, is come up with something where we're healing. A lot of people are hurt whether it be by relationships, whether it's things that happened in the past, people are hurt. And we all have a gift to heal. We have to do it. We have to do it 
We just have to do it. Field trips. I want a parent's think tank. This has something to do within our kids. This should be where, if you want your kids to go to college, we should be able to send the kids to college. That's what you want. A program, a skill set. Kids want to learn how to cut hair. We should be able to sit up here and teach them how to cut hair. This is this is what I'm on right now. This is what I want to focus on. Seek and you shall find. This is what I want to do. Next generations, parents, knowledge, children's success. I want us to be able to do what the Black Panthers did. Housing, groceries, clothes, GED programs. Real, I will, and everybody from every career, from lawyers, doctors, salesmen, real estate, cops. We need to teach our kids all this. We we need to teach them. Because let's really be honest, when you get out of high school, it's a different world. Who's going to teach our kids about? They're not teaching kids in school about bills and finances. We have to do that as parents. We have to do that as parents. We have to sit up here and make a way for our kids, period. We have to make a way for our kids. This is what a parent's job is supposed to do. You know why? Because I just said parent. When you look at that word parent, P-A-R-E-N-T. We rent our kids. We rent our kids to a certain age. And then they become who they're supposed to be. We rent our kids, parents. We rent our kids. And and, and this, also in my podcast, we're going to be breaking down words. Because that's a way of information and gaining insight. Look at words. Some things is hidden in plain sight. And words is one of the things that's hidden in plain sight. So, like I said, we want everybody we want to be able to take the kids if, hey, let's go out to Disneyland. Let's go to Disney World. Let's go to museums. Let's go to Africa. Let's go to Paris. These are the things I want our kids to be able to have these. Let's teach our kids how to plant, shoot. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. So I'm taking any, and as as this podcast goes, we're going to definitely get into that, my religion and all that type of, we're definitely going to get into that. Um, Even on this, this can be a healthy um, platform where we can have a debate. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying, the possibilities. But what I want to push out here is next generation, parents' knowledge, kids, children's success. Our kids have to be successful. They have to be better than us. So this is um, part one, you know what I'm saying, of my video. I didn't want to be too long, you know, um, on that. But like I said, I'm inspired by the Black Panthers. And this This is something that I definitely want to do, and I need y'all input. You know what I'm saying? I need y'all's input. Um, I'm not, I don't want to build this alone. I need you guys to help me build this. Um, It's a nonprofit organization. It'll be something to where every month, it's it's $10 a month, um, maybe for the whole year, maybe $50 a year. You know what I'm saying? Um, This is the part where I need help with as far as doing the details and stuff. 
I, I just want y'all's input on that. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is about us. Like I said, I started this off celebrating. We have to celebrate. Every day that we wake up is the day for us to accomplish something. It's the day we should be proud of. I want us to be happy seven days a week. And I know that sometimes that's not going to happen. That's a fantasy sometimes if we think, oh, okay, well, we're just going to be. We got to go through the pain to make us better. You know what I'm saying? We do. We have to do that. We have to go through the pain to make us better. Some Sometimes people stay in that pain. But we have to sit up there and, and, and do that for each other. You know what I'm saying? This is my goal. My goal is to start this with you guys. So anybody with, um, you know, put it in the comments, email me. Um, my email is brashan23 at comcast.net. B-U-R-S-H-A-U-N 23 at comcast.net. Hit me up. Let's talk. You know what I'm saying? Um, this, Like I said, this is for the kids. This is for the kids. I'm definitely, uh, within the next week or so, I'm about to do an interview um, with somebody. So be prepared for that. I'm definitely going to do an interview. Um, this is, and, you know, I want to interview you guys. I want to interview, how is it, how is it being parenting in this, during this COVID? My, my job is to, I want to share people's stories. Everybody has a story. Everybody has a story. Whatever your talent is, share it. This is what we're going to, this is what we're going to do. All we have is each other. We can be able to branch out so many ways, but we have to sit up here once stay in communication. So, you know, like I said, next generation, parents' knowledge, children's success. Get at me on it. Get at me. Nonprofit, let's go. Let's go. Let's talk about it. These are the things that I want to put forth for our kids. So, I'm about to leave y'all with that, man. Um, I'm going to shoot another video a little bit later. Um, and this video is the next thing, the next video for sure, for sure, that I'm working on is um, kids. You know, um, we're going to do, you know, how to teach the kids to problem solve, you know, problem solve. And then we're going to go um um, with ages and stages of um, kids, this is sometime today or tomorrow, but I'm going to try to do it today. So being uh, ready for the next video, peace, uh, much love to everybody, uh, BTV out, peace.